finally back at Animal Kingdom. It's always beautiful to see that tree there looking gorgeous. The waterfall to the side and all the animals engraved. And just seeing all this green and beautiful flowers, you guys. And the sky's blue. Isn't this beautiful? But today, even though it's not Magic Kingdom, there is Halloween treats here. Gonna go check out a few of them. There's not a lot. Right now, I'm showing you guys uh, the crowd levels right now. Gonna go on a few rides. And we'll see what else there is for us here and Animal Kingdom. salad the salad route uh, you know to balance it out so with this salad right here it's pulled chicken on top with mixed green salad toss it has smoked cheddar diced um, apples dried cran cranberries cornbread croutons crispy onions and barbecue ranch dressing it all sounds good right but um I've had this before so I really like it, but for those who are new and haven't watched it, I'm gonna try it again. I didn't give it a bat score because I didn't have scores at that time. So, now it's going to get a bat score. That is a really good salad. Really good. Um, if I remember correctly, last time they gave me the dressing on the side, I think. Either it was on the side or it was extra, but this time there's no extra dressing. You know what's interesting? It's barbecue ranch dressing. And for those who don't know, I don't like ranch. I hate ranch, but the bar you taste more barbecue than ranch, so that's the only ranch that I'm gonna be okay with. So the crispy onions, just really good. They're lightly crisp, so they're not too crunchy. And like I said, that sauce, that barbecue ranch is really good, and it just goes with it, because you know, barbecue goes with chicken, and. And the chicken's not dry, it's moist, and it's, it's not cut up chicken, it's like shredded chicken, so you guys can see right there. And then for those who care about croutons on your salad, this cornbread crouton, I mean look at the size of that thing. It's really good. Mm. It tastes like, a, like cornbread. all together mixed very well very delicious and it's gonna get a 10 out of 10 bats all right next up is that scar cupcake I open it up a little bit so you can see it <laughs> well this is falling apart I think it's melting so it's a red velvet cupcake um, toasted with marshmallow filling chocolate marshmallow frosting chocolate pebbles White chocolate flames and edible icing image. So see how good it is. I'm gonna use a fork because this is gonna get, yeah. All right, good piece of it. Hmm. Yo, that is really good. See, I like red velvet anything cake and cupcake. By far out of all the Halloween cupcakes that I've had, you know from the Constance, oh well I guess that was a cake, but it was like shaped like a cupcake. Anyways, this one is my favorite one. This one is getting already automatic 10 out of 10. It was recommended um, by my good friends um, Our Endless Adventures, so thank you guys for recommending this. Definitely got a 10 out of 10. So knowing that I knocked Scar down a little bit, kind of see in there. You can see the chocolate, marshmallow table chocolate table. filling. And like you see the chocolate pieces on top. So it's really good you guys, 10 out of 10 like I said. It's really rich, 
with a lot of, I guess, what did I say, the chocolate's overpowering? Uh, maybe on the top, there's kind of a lot of chocolate, so if you're not that big of a chocolate fan, maybe stay away from the frosting and the little chocolate pebbles. But if you do love chocolate, that's really good. Really good. With that marshmallow filling. Oh, so good. For you guys that do not know, you can come to Animal Kingdom and do some pin trading. As you can see, you're gonna have to like wait in line and they have the pins out there for you guys, as you can see, and you pick it out. So, it's here at Animal Kingdom. This is the only ride that's less than 50 minutes, so 15 minutes. of their day eating. So they only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. And most of the time, uh, they'll sleep standing up. Their tongues are also pretty long. They can get up to about 18 inches. All right, over here on the right, we have the Angkoli cattle here. Now they have those really large horns on their heads there, which just by looking at them, you'd probably think they'd be really heavy. They're however completely hollow inside. And they've got um, a form of honeycombing in those horns though, and that allows for them to be able to circulate blood through them, which will bring their body temperatures down when they get overheated on really hot days. And then over here to the right, we've got a herd of white bearded, white -bearded wildebeest. Uh, every year they take part in something called the Great Migration, where they'll travel about 500 to 1,000 miles in search of some new watering holes and new vegetation. They're a little bit bigger than the females though. They're also the most colorful monkeys, uh, but the males are gonna be the only ones that have the red and blue markings. Those are gonna be on their noses and their behinds. All right, right over on the right, we've got an elephant there. Uh, now elephants do live in herds. And when the males in the herd turn about 13, they'll tend to head off and isolate them. The white rhino is a little bit bigger than All right, that is my trip here at Animal Kingdom. I hope you guys had fun on my journey here, my adventure. Tried that Halloween cupcake scar for you guys. Really good, salad was good. The safari was fun. It was a beautiful day, not too hot. Beautiful, beautiful day here at Animal Kingdom. If you made it this far, you might as well give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.